Good morning, Buddy Christ. <laughs> it's a pin on my microphone. It is 5 a.m. on Monday morning, January the 23rd, 2023. And I am full of gratitude. I do a gratitude list. Uh, it helps me with uh, navigate the, the seas of my life. And uh, I start off my day with it. And uh, I start off with my foundation six. I am grateful for my family, my friends, my faith, my freedom, my health, and my union job. Yes. <laughs> and from there, I elaborate. And I got the suggestion of a gratitude yet list, doing a gratitude list a few years ago. It was one of the best um, tools, self-help tools I've ever received in my life. Um, I can't say enough good things about it. Um, just take a piece of pen, a, a, a piece of pen, take a piece of paper and a pen and you too can write down everything. I started on, the, these are my favorite kind of things to write on. Um, and I don't know why I didn't save them. I got the idea to save them. <clears throat> I don't know what you're supposed to do with a gratitude list once you've written one. Are you supposed to burn it in effigy? Kind of like now give these sentiments back to the cosmos. Um, are you supposed to just throw them away and <laughs> write something new? Or are you supposed to keep them and refer to them at dark times? And I came to the conclusion that, you know, I should keep them and refer to them in darker times. So I did. And uh, uh, I started keeping them at least back in November 5th of 2020. We were coming out of lockdown. I had been on work furlough since March. I had, um, I had lost my best work friend about four months before that. He had a heart attack and died. Um, in the middle of lunch at 10.30 and I'm on a Thursday morning. I, uh, so, yeah, I did, did a job on me. And, um, but then came March 2020, getting, getting furloughed from work and enjoying lockdown 2020 with pretty much the rest of the United States. I got called back to work in late of 2020. Um, um, in, in a different role, you know, somewhere else, you know, you know where I work, they can they're just opening up, offering up shifts to people, and uh, yeah, it was time to get back to work. It was, you know, it was scary. It was. I mean, nobody knew anything, or still really does, but. Everyone had to wear masks, and we had to simultaneously respect social distancing. But being in a, you know, in a kitchen, a professional kitchen, it's an active workplace. You know, um, lots of people, lots of moving parts. And then comes the marketplace cafe, um, where or, or, or eateries where we would be, you know, working from. And, um, so, was, yeah, and I also had stopped drinking. I had started eating better. I was active, so I was actively losing weight. At the time when Scotty, di Scotty died on December the 12th, 2019. And uh, I was 220 pounds and a 42 waist. And over about a year and a half or so it took, um, I mean, I lost a lot of weight, and I got down to 157 in a 30-inch waist. And since then, I put back on a chunk of that. So now I need to find some blessings and gratitude into redoing my diet, rededicating myself to eating better portions, cutting out the things I know I know I should not be eating. Cutting down beer, 
beer has a lot of useless car empty calories and um it took a lot to sober up in the first place and so that's that is part of the the puzzle and i'm i'm, I'm grateful and blessed to to be aware of all that and to have a mission and have to something a goal a personal goal that matters for me i want to i want to get back down to about 170 pounds i mean that will make me happy it really will i mean i got rid of my gut my belly fat my chin fat and my thigh fat and um i'm grateful and blessed that that uh, for that experience and the knowledge it took to pull that off and i'm going to get back there and i will and i'm going to get back to this too uh, these lists so i'm going to read a list that i made about two years ago and um it's january the 23rd and um this one was a particularly on this was written on a saturday two years ago so it says zoom here okay we'll get to that in a second the pink highlighter that's my quarantine number i had a a, a flatmate test positive for for the coof the orange numbers i have no idea i think it was diet oriented pretty much and um well maybe i had cut something out or I have no idea. Seriously, I forget. But uh, Zoom, yeah. So let's. Um, these gratitude lists have an interesting power. It has the power to to stop the momentum, or or at least the the, the inertia of your bad day, of these bad moments when they all gang up on you. I know. I suffer from the chronic lonelies, the chronic mopies, and the chronic angries all my life. And um, this gratitude list. Has been better than therapy, all the self-help books. None of my I've read a lot of self-help books, but none of them none of them ever prescribed making a gratitude list. A few of them mention gratitude as like you know a very important part of finding purpose. Um, but I I know me, and so I got this idea from somebody who's an ex-convict and someone that's in the uh, the recovery program, that, you know, gratitude was the way to, you know, make your life better for yourself. I, I took it to heart. And so I don't know if I if I do it right. Um, I guess you're supposed to do it once a week and not repeat yourself. But I, just, I, I know myself. I needed to develop a mental, emotional, and a spiritual muscle memory in order to live like this i still get clobbered and i still get side uh, you know sidelined by by health and by panic and by anxiety um but also i've never felt more healthier spiritually and emotionally in my life and a lot of that has to do with making a gratitude list and so yeah let's just read it real quick so like two years ago today and i kept these gratitudes and i'm still grateful for all of this stuff and i continue to you know be blessed and to, 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 to count my blessings and to add to my blessings and to add to my gratitudes and i'm wishing the same for you too i, I want to pay this forward and if you can pay it forward too if it works for you i just do a daily list and then i from here came the videos really yeah i mean i stopped writing them down based pretty much on january 31st of 2021 that's the last written one i got and then shortly thereafter maybe like a year later or more i started doing uh video ones on my on my phone you know first thing in the morning like it's 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 hey it's 4 56 a.m and i and i am full of gratitude and you know just didn't do a couple of minute long selfie video that i thought would make interesting content and it, it, people have really gravitated towards it and i'm and i'm blessed and grateful for that as well and for you watching today, I'm most grateful for you, you, the one who's watching this. So hopefully you can make gratitude a part of your life. If it isn't already, <clears throat> I still suffer from the chronic mopies, the chronic angries and the chronic lonelies, but it's manageable. And then when those moments hit, when they all gang up on you, I can refer to these lists. I can be reminded. I can count my blessings. <clears throat> and then I, 
this and it once once the inertia of the bad day is gone when it's like you you're left with a neutral spot where you can make a new choice i can continue to be pissy moany moody or i can make a new choice i can be productive i can get my job done i can look forward to something beyond you know you know this i can endure this moment like which is also suggested to me in the bhagavad gita uh, chapter 2 verse 14 my personal mantra <laughs> endure this o hero uh, you know mantra sparsis tu kunteya si nosna suka dukata agama paino nitnis tams di dikasma parata this world and it's reflection back to you through your sense organs uh, it's hot and cold it's changing seasons it's suffering and joy um, it's, tr it's 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 temporary it's fleeting um, and it comes and it goes Therefore, endure this, O oh hero. Endure this. Those are Krishna's words to uh, to Arjuna, who was having a panic attack right before the great battle. Yeah, it's a beautiful part of a of an epic, a war poem. <laughs> it's a uh, so yeah. Where were we? So we're yeah. We we're gonna just rattle these off real quick, and uh, but just to let you know, uh, that these are usually a lot shorter. And uh, I'm, I'm using this opportunity to film it ahead of time and to get back into the swing of having a 5 a.m. daily or uh, close enough to it um, show, you know, and um, for the gratitude list. And I think I might have fixed my microphone problem. I'm looking forward to that. And uh, so let's get to it. On uh, the 23rd of January, two years ago, 2021, uh, family, friends, fit, faith, fitness, fun, health, home, joy, understanding the process. My Winky Ganesh, I love Ganesh. I got a Ganesh over there. Uh, Key, Om, TCB, Thunderbolt DIY. That means taking care of business, do it yourself, and um, Kriya Shakti. And it was my 13th day at home. <laughs> in a row <laughs> but you know, I mean who didn't who didn't go through a lot of quarantine phase during lockdown I mean yeah huh and zoom so yeah I got we got one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen things to be grateful for that day and zoom because it was Saturday and uh, during lockdown, I uh, before, way before the YouTube, uh, I started around uh, yeah around the time I started making YouTube content, uh, I was um, hanging out with with, with friends of mine, uh, one in Western Mass, uh, one in Minnesota, and one in Nebraska, and we would and occasionally another uh, uh, another friend of ours, another friend of ours from uh, from Belmont or uh, or Lexington rather, and. Uh, we would watch movies over my shoulder like this in my room and I would just, movies that we would love and it was and then we, we would have a drink and I you know I was I achieved a level of sobriety so I was like you know what I can you'd have a couple of drinks on a Saturday night with my friends and so it was nice so I was grateful and blessed to not only have friends but to have plans it's something to look forward to and like I said all of these blessings just keep adding up and they counting them it's just taking a stock of you know what you really do have matters a lot and it, it really can cut through the fog clear the haze cut the fat um it it just gets to the heart of the matter very quickly and at the end of that i gained better purpose probably a bit more neutral grace and blissfulness not over joyous but not sadness either in the middle grace and bliss harmony perhaps one could say thank you so very much for tuning in god bless namaste good luck i hope to earn your subscription if you haven't subscribed yet just reach over and hit that subscribe button and be part of this we take stock for of our gratitudes and our blessings and it has made a major impact on me and hopefully it will on you too if you try it. Let me know 
in those comment sections. Thank you so very much. God bless. Namaste. Good luck. And we will see you again tomorrow in those funny pages. Well, that's my, that's how I end my comic book thing. <laughs> but you know what I mean. Oh, cheers. God bless. All right. We'll see you. Bye-bye.